I'm making this video for my sister to teach her how to grill on her brand new Weber charcoal grill. Hold on, I got a cell phone call. Hello? Hey. So this video is for my sister Elena because she doesn't really know how to use her Weber grill. So I'm going to teach her how to do a charcoal setup. I got the same thing. My grill is just a little bit different. So take a look inside the grill here. And you see, I've already used it. This is from a few days ago. So what I do with this is I take it out of here. And you'll see, I just drop it. It knocks the crusties off. That's what you want to do. Next step, I leave it sit there. Next step is take your charcoal. And pour enough. That's going to cover the bottom. So I pour it in like that. Because I'm going to cook some steak. So I want to have enough charcoal. So I want to make sure I got enough that I could spread when I'm done. I can lay it all flat, which you'll see in a future segment. But for right now, I'm going to stack it up and kind of pile it up like this. And as you can see, I got like a little mound of it going. Okay, you see that? My next thing is I'm going to take lighter fluid, charcoal fluid. And I'm going to saturate this pretty good. I want to make sure I get my the bricks in here uh, with a good coat of the slider fluid. This way they, they burn up good. Now if you want to cheat, you can get a bag of match light. And all you got to do is put them in, stack them up, and, and burn them this way. Okay, so, yeah, I know that's a lot. But you know what? My charcoal is going to light up really good. Okay. Next step, I take this, my lighter, and I'll light one of the bricks, light another one, and it's going to fire up. While that's burning, I'm coming back here to get the grate that I dropped, and I'm going to put this back on, because I'm going to let all this yucky stuff burn off. And of course, take this away so this doesn't catch on fire, and I put it away, because you're done with this. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to let this burn up. We're going to let that flame just keep going. And of course, I put my charcoal away because I don't want to pick it up later. But as you can see, as you can see, I'm letting this burn up. And it's going to burn all the nasty stuff that's on there. So we're going to let that burn. And when it's done, we're going to go to the next step. Okay, the flame is gone as you can see, and you see how it's starting to smolder? Well, I'm going to take this, I'm going to drop this off, but notice, do not grab this with your bare hands. You need a pair of leather gloves like I have. So I grab this, stay away from it, drop it again, because now you're going to knock off more crap off of it, and leave it there for a minute. Now, look at my charcoals. Get a good look at those. Okay. So now, they're starting to really heat up. You see the color of the gray in them? That's what you want to see. Now, when you get to that color, you could spread them out. And you want to spread them out at the bottom of your, your grill here so that it covers the bottom. And you kind of want to make it even so it covers the bottom of the pan. Now, you could leave the outer edges there in case you got like hot dogs or chickens or something like that. Thin stuff that you don't want the burn to put directly over the coals. So I leave like an edge there in case I got anything small to put there. But today I'm making steaks. So now that I have that nice and spread out, and you see how the grayness of the charcoal is, that means it's good on fire and it's going to get really hot. Now I got it spread out, so now I'm going to pick this back up. And remember, that's hot. Have your gloves on. Put it back in, and at this time we're going to want to take your wire brush, and I finished cleaning this. And I, clean, I give it a good cleaning on here, and then I come back around and do this side. And 
I tap it only because when you get these wire bristles, you want to make sure nothing sticks to the to the grill itself because you don't want to eat it in just a piece of this wire bristle off this. So I just tap it off. There's nothing on there. It's good. Put that away. Now, next step, I'm going to let it cook. I'm going to let it get good and hot because after this, we're going to be throwing the food on. Now, look how I've got the lid on it. You see? You see how I don't have it completely covered? And I do that just so the air can vent through it. And that's it. We're going to let this get good and hot. I'll watch a, uh, the uh, heat index go all the way up. It, it'll probably hit all the way down to the bottom. But that's fine because that's when I'll get ready to throw the food on. But essentially, that's what you're looking at. Just like that. Your grill is ready. Once this gets further white, if you'll notice now, it's only been a few minutes, but you can see the charcoal is almost turning all white. And that's good because that's a good hot grill. And uh, there you have it. We're done. The rest, you just all you got to do is cook. So that's it.